Hello and welcome to this video where I want to share with you uh, ideas that can improve the way you teach online when you're using your mobile phone. One of these is improving the audio which comes from your mobile phone. I've already talked about this. The other one is you find that when you're using the mobile phone, the typing pad is on the screen and you might want to use like for example when you look at my screen over here let me go to the icons on my on my mobile phone you can see that i'm not touching the my mobile phone i'm not touching the screen of my mobile phone but you can be able to see by the way i'm recording that screen and i've put it somewhere around here you can be able to see that that video somewhere around here so I'm recording the screen of my mobile phone and I'm getting that video and I've put it here so when you look at that video you can be able to see there is a cursor like the one you see on the computer screen how is that possible I've been able to connect a wireless mouse to my mobile phone and at this point I want to introduce a very important cable it is referred to as an OTG cable. An OTG cable has, has got a connector similar to that which comes with the charger of your mobile phone. The other end of the cable is a USB socket where you can be able to connect any device with the USB connector. For example, a flash disk like this one I could be able to connect it here and then the other end I connect to the mobile phone so this is the type C connector and there and you can see it allows me to connect any USB device to my mobile phone because you know the mobile phone does not have a USB connector but you could convert that type C connector into, into a USB connector by using an OTG cable. OTG cables come in two uh, types. There is one with a cable like this one. So make sure that when you are choosing it, you choose the one with a, with a cable that can withstand a, a lot of rough handling. Then there is another one which is a much, much shorter. And it is the one that I am using on this phone here. So this one is also a USB, uh, an OTG cable. It's got a type C on one end and a USB socket on the other end. Now to that socket, I have connected something we refer to as a USB hub. So let me disconnect this and just leave uh, this one here because I'm using and my screen had gone off somehow now it's back let me remove this notification over there those are the notifications which come with my screen recorder so I've taken this this one's referred to as a USB hub the USB hub has got the other end is a USB which I can be able to connect now to the OTG cable okay there is all this cable which comes from the hub and it goes all the way to my OTG device so it allows me to connect several USB devices I can connect a flash disk here I can connect a mouse this is the dongle which controls the mouse because I'm using a wireless mouse and that is the mouse that I have here so I'm using this dongle here it's got a USB connection when I connect it like this it allows me to control my mobile phone from a distance like you can see when I scroll you can see what is happening to the icons on the screen and I've already explained the reason why I am doing this 
when you use the finger to control the icons on the screen sometimes uh, your finger may occupy a very large space and maybe the link you want to tap to is a very tiny link so by mistake you can end up clicking on the wrong link i don't want that one to happen to me so i'd rather use a a cursor like the one we have on the computer screen i have to roll this on a surface like that that one is very important now the so i've used one of the hubs to connect the external mouse i mean to connect my wireless mouse i'm going to use the other hub to connect a keyboard over here I've got my external keyboard and it is the one that I'm going to connect to another hub there so because I'm running out of space let me put that one there I get it comes with a cable so I'm going to connect it to the second USB socket and there it is so I've already connected it to my computer just in case I get to a point where I need to type something I can type it on the keyboard very very fast so now that you understand how we can connect a mouse to the mobile phone as well as a keyboard to the mobile phone both of them are external devices I could connect something else here I could connect a flash disk but I don't want to overload the processor of my mobile phone because it's got certain capability at the same time you find that other than the mouse my keyboard is drawing the power from the mobile phone battery i don't want to run it it down but you can be able to connect more than one device to your mobile phone the other device that i've connected to my mobile phone is a microphone over here all along in this video you've been listening to me using the audio from this microphone here now I'm going to switch over so that you can listen to me using this microphone it is it is a lavalier microphone so I'm going to connect it to my device and hopefully it's going to pick that uh, and of course the the connection that i'm using here is the normal connector for this type of devices so i'm going to connect it to the audio jack so i push it in until it clicks and just to ensure that the audio that we are listening to right now comes from this device i'm going to tap it slightly that Okay, I can't be able to hear it, but during playback, we'll be able to hear that disturbance. One, two, three, three taps. And if we detect that, then it shows that the audio I'm getting from this device is from my lovely microphone. So this is it. When you're teaching online, you want a situation where your students can be able to hear you so there is a microphone i'm trying to improve on the audio you want a situation whereby you can be able to type something on that screen so i've connected an external keyboard and uh, you want a situation whereby all this is possible and that is why i mentioned the otg cable so remember if you want to know how these connections have been done i have a video there that most people have found very useful so you might want to to go there and get more information about how this otg cable is being used okay my screen of my mobile phone keeps on going to sleep most of the time and i've got to keep on coming back and activating it all right so there we are and you can see i can be able to navigate to anything that i want for example let me go to play store over there and I want to install a device or an app. I want to install 
an application. So I go to the search there and I want to install Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to type Microsoft Teams and you can see when it comes to typing it's actually very fast because uh, what I'm using is, uh, sorry for that, sorry for that, Microsoft. Um, it appears as if my keyboard sort of um, is not uh, working very well. I think it is due to the fact of the, the, the power that it needs over there. But already there are suggestions here. I click on that. And I find that Microsoft Teams there, I'm just prompted to open. That means I've already installed that app in my phone. So I'll simply go there and click open. And the point I want to make at this point is this. You can see how easy it is for me to navigate even from a distance. I'm not interfering with my camera there. I'm not interfering with the screen by touching it with my finger. I'm navigating everything using that cursor. Unless I have to. Unless I have to. Like, for example, when I'm activating the screen after it goes to sleep, I have to go there and use my finger. But that one is a one-time kind of action. The cursor helps me to navigate around the screen very well. The second point is the mobile, uh, the lavalier microphone helps me to capture very good audio. My keyboard helps me to enter text into any text field very fast. And uh, those kind of skills might come in handy for you as a teacher who is teaching from a remote point. So that's it I wanted to share with you this morning. Until next time. When I catch you up with something else on how you can improve your techniques and skills of uh, teaching from a remote point, it is goodbye and remember to stay safe.